Good morning. This is going to rub some people the wrong way. It's going to push some buttons and there you go. So there's the disclaimer. Stop making excuses for your poor behaviors, your poor attitudes to try to get out of the consequences. Shifting blame. Stop it. I just got off the phone before I made the first video. I've already done one video and posted it this morning. Early morning call from a family. And we had to have a little discussion with a teen who's having some issues. They are not a client. It was just a friend calling. Stop making excuses for your poor behavior because it will become a pattern. I know adults who had horrific childhoods and they are still throwing that as their excuse. That's their get out of jail free card. That's their ace in the hole. Yeah, but I had a bad childhood. I was abused. So were a lot of people. Deal with it, get the therapy you need, move past it. I'm not telling you to suck it up. That would be cruel. I'm telling you to get the help you need to work on those issues, to work on the triggers, to work on the trauma, to work on the core wounds, because you're worthy. And people aren't stupid. They know the difference between a reason and an excuse. A reason is, you know, you had a flat tire on the way to work. That's a reason. Coming in and telling everybody, oh, the cat turned off my alarm. Honey, you don't have a cat. That's an excuse. Stop making excuses. Start being accountable. Stop procrastinating. I mean, that is one of my biggest pe peeves is procrastination. I am a bit of an overachiever. I know, big shock. I have a consulting business on the side that I've had for like 15 years. I do case review for law firms as a nurse legal consultant. Love it. I would do that all day if I could. It is just so much fun to play Columbo. But I do not procrastinate. I generally will get a deadline of 30 days. I generally have the case back to them in a week, if not less. That's why they like me. And I'm affordable, so that's all, that always helps. But I don't procrastinate. I, mm -mm. My son was growing up. And I made sure he was not a procrastinator. And a little boy, oh, please, five more minutes. Yeah, no, that didn't cut it. I do know in a lot of families, it can be a learned behavior because the kids will see a parent. They'll see, you know, mom telling dad, it's time for dinner, five more minutes. You know, the game's on, five more minutes, five more minutes. Wait till the next commercial. The kids see that. They're going to repeat the behavior. You know, time for homework. Five more minutes on my Xbox. The movie's almost over. Time for bed. Five more minutes. Did you get your book report done? I'll get to it. Did you turn in your essay? Your project? I'll get to it. Watch what you're teaching your children. Because those little behaviors will be carried through in life to adulthood. And I know a lot of adults who procrastinate. I had a paralegal years ago. Lovely person, a bit odd, but lovely. Queen of the excuses. She's the one that would come in and say her cat turned off her alarm. Sweetheart, you don't have a cat. Oh, maybe I need to get one. Seriously, that happened. Working with her, was special and she was always one to procrastinate but she always had a lot of excuses it was never her fault she had a rough childhood nobody understood her she was breaking up with a boyfriend it was always something she was given a task she was given about six weeks to perform a task by the attorney I reminded her about it every week every Monday she ended up being fired. I had to fire her. And that was hard because she was a nice person, just not the best employee. But she procrastinated. 
I have no tolerance. Of course, being a nurse, I, you know, I was a surgical intensive care nurse for years. You cannot put off anything in the medical field. We're dealing with somebody's health. You can't put that off. I've worked in the legal field. I was married to an attorney once. You cannot put things off. You're dealing with somebody's rights, their freedoms. You can't screw around with that, it's serious. Do not procrastinate. Be responsible, be accountable. Teach your kids to be accountable. And if they're gonna be accountable, honey, you have to be accountable too. Hold your own feet to the fire. You're worthy of being a good parent. They're worthy of being a good child. But you have to be the role model. And you're worthy of being a good role model. It's not easy. We all have days that, yeah, I'll do it in five minutes. Do it now. Have a cup of coffee after it's done. Celebrate. Pat yourself on the back. No more excuses. You're better than that.